Hey guys, so I just had a couple of cool ideas pop in my head the last hour, so thought I'd draw them up here. Uh, this is a project for um, someone, I know there's some really hardcore off-road mower guys out there on all terrain lawn tractor for him. Um, you know, like lawn tractors don't have your suspension, so what if you made your own uh, swing arm set up with the shock plate. Uh, this would be bushings and bearings that have been here mounted to the back or probably right about here or maybe even farther up right about here. So you wouldn't have to extend it out way out here so that you'd have a lot of travel but you wouldn't be sticking out way out here like an extended swing arm on a quad or something. So this is what I was thinking, you do something like this, here's the mount, that would mount to the frame of the tractor with beefs around here so it won't bend and flex and stuff, so you have it pull out here, wider, all with box steel or something, something fairly strong, got your braces, and uh, this would be your shock mount, and then your mount up in the tractor somewhere, probably near the battery box box on certain craftsmen or uh, craftsmen two tractors uh, so yeah you got your braces then this you could probably get a uh, three-wheeler rear end or some old quad rear end you need a peerless 700 mounted up here chain to the rear sprocket and that you could hook up the drum brake or disc brake from a quad. This would be a three-wheeler or quad axle, quad tires. And then the front, to compensate for how high this would probably sit, you'd either need probably big wheels in the front, big or lift up the front, kind of just like lift up, make a mount so the axle sits higher, or the, you make your own mount for the front axle, but you mount the mount higher up, and, like where the stock, okay, where the stock axle mounts, you bolt a uh, lifter onto it, and then it drops the axle down, so then you compensate for how high this sits, so that would be a cool idea, I'd think. I'm maybe willing to try it, but it would take a lot of work. Like you need bearings or bushings, probably bearings in here. You need to beef up this a lot. And the rear end, you need uh, pillow block bearings, probably shaft collars to hold it all in place. But if it worked, then you'd have your suspension. I, had this, I also had this cool idea for a snow mower. I've seen this on quads, you take an old, depending on how much money you have, you could buy new plastic skis, it would be really light, but you could find some old, an old vintage sled, take the skis off it, mount them to your spindles with some kind of bearing in there so you don't really wreck your spindles. And then here I've seen on two wheel drive sport quads on the sled trails, they shouldn't be on there, but they weren't doing any damage. You wrap an old snowmobile track around your tire and hold it in place really tight like with maybe baler twine or some kind of strong rope and you wrap it around the tire so you have the lugs of the snowmobile track on your tire and then you don't have to uh, buy like a track kit that you make for sleds that air quads that come out here that are eight grand or something. And then, to, if you if it would work to make a super deep snow, you can make like a skid plate under here so it would float on top. But I don't know if you'd be going that deep. Anyways, that's some cool ideas I I've had today. Rear suspension. Actually, I've seen a mower with a arm front suspension, but that'll be another day. So yeah, snow mower. I was thinking about maybe doing this, but you'd need a pull start engine if it, especially if you live in Canada, pull start engine so you don't have to put extreme stress on your battery and starter when it's really cold out. And yeah, rear suspension.